About a month ago, I ordered a blow-up raft that I have gotten a lot of use out of, but recently decided to take it to the next level with the addition of a motor so I could, you know, enjoy the open water without the hassle of rowing. However, I quickly realized that early summer is a bad time to try and buy boating equipment. I was looking for a 36 pound trolling motor, which was sold out on all online retailers. Finally, when I did find it, it was gonna take about two weeks to arrive. This gave me plenty of time to buy a 12 volt, 75 amp hour deep cycle marine battery and a 1.25 amp trickle charger. Although thanks to this little flu that seems to be going around, it took about a week and a half for the battery parts to ship. I uh, can't hook it up right now because I'm missing a pair of nuts, 10 millimeter nuts to be exact, um, that hold the um, cable onto the battery terminal. It's getting too dark out here to really film. I'm getting tired. I still have to edit today's video, so I'm just going to wake up tomorrow and uh, run out and get some because I apparently don't have any anywhere in my house. Um, hope this works. Today is the day of the boat launch and, well, with the motor, but what I need to do is go get those 10 millimeter nuts. Try to see if I got the right size. So close. I know it's not 3 8 so it must be 5 16 uh, These do work, sort of, but I need a wrench. You wanna know just one of those great moments of life where can't even be mad because you're just astounded. Tucked down in here very conveniently in the battery box that came with uh, separately from the battery are two um, correctly sized terminal bolts. We learned lessons today. So boats inflated. Now it's time to start assembling the motor mount here. That trolling motor will just clamp on here. Hopefully that's sort of a set it up once kind of thing. Cause there's just a lot of these little screws that are a little time consuming if I have to do that every time I want to take this thing out. But what we have here is a little circuit breaker that's attached to these wires. And this is just to keep it so that, uh, you know, uh, we don't kill ourselves um, or the motor or the battery or anything like that. But this connection, I can only get it finger tight cause I don't have a hex wrench of any kind. So if we lose power today, that's probably gonna be the reason is because this unattaches from this little this little circuit breaker. So I'm not filming too much because I, I, I just don't have any hands and I don't wanna bring a tripod on the boat. Classic rookie mistake here. I put this plate on upside down. So now I've gotta unscrew all this and switch it over. Not the biggest deal in the world, but I'm just hoping no boats need to use this ramp because it's gonna take me a few minutes. Okay, well, obviously I got it to work and I'm out here on the water. This is uh, about the speed we're going on five. I'm, I'm up, I think upstream, uh, pretty good ways. I've just been cruising on three for the most part. And I've probably been out here an hour and uh, let's take a look. We're, uh, we're still on full battery as of right now. We're about to drop just below full battery, but um, yeah, we're just cruising. Mm -hmm. 